All right. Adam Hall makes some interesting stuff, and including these uh, speaker isolators. A little Adam Hall logo on it. Now, pack of two. And basically what it is, you're paying like $20 for four pieces of foam. And it's high quality foam. It's, I'm sure they picked out the right one to hold speakers. And the way you'd set this up is if you have... Since it's for monitors, and they says up to a 5-inch monitor, the only thing 5-inch I have is the TX. So the TX have come out. They're so shiny. The TX have come out, and the default shape is a wedge down. So if you use just this, uh, you'd probably be looking at something like... Oh, well, God. Up here. When you're doing studio monitors, you, studio monitors, usually you have the, all your sliders and controls here and your studio monitors have to be above you so something like that would be arranged and it would have a nice little down angle and if you need to add the other piece of foam you can increase that down angle or you put it in backwards and then your stands become well flat stands and let me tell you the purpose of isolation stands i went over briefly on my uh zisolators video but when the speaker shakes, it shakes the table, right? And if there was no speaker and it just magically disappeared and the table kept shaking, you'd hear the sound. And the problem with that is when a table generates sound and sends it at you, and the speaker generates sound and sends it at you, and they both generate sound and send it at you, they crash and they just discombobulate each other and cancel out and it's no good. So you want to try to keep the vibrations from going from the speaker down into the surface below it. So this is a very cheap and inexpensive way to do that is with some nice dense foam blocks. Now, if you're in a desk situation like here, uh, obviously that isn't going to work. It's going to point at your table. So what you do is you turn it around and now it's pointing up. And if it's not pointing out en up enough, you put the second piece of foam in there. And now it points up a bunch. So let's reorganize this now that I've made a mess of my stuff. And it is precisely as wide as that is, which is Here's some actual measurements and the king's measurement, six and three quarter wide and she'll accept the speaker as deep as ten and a half, which sounds about right for studio monitors. Uh, you could probably cut this down if you have smaller monitors and you don't need the excess, but why bother? So, uh, in this particular case, they're going to be used backwards. So that beautiful Adam Hall logo, which is just glued onto a piece of foam, isn't going to be seen. I guess you could peel it off and Elmer's glue it to the front here if you wanted. And, uh, because I do not like touching these TX with my hands. I'm going to slide them to the back so they can't fall off. There we go. So now, from a seated position... Those are perfect. And you could usually makeshift these things out of, you know, stuff lying around. Or build them. A lot of effort to build them. But uh, these are going to work really well. And they do work really well. Shot me down with a love and it go bang, bang. That girl's a killer from a gang. Shot me down with a love and it go bang, bang. And oh, I love her, so that's why I gotta let her know that I... By the way, I love these speakers still. Uh, yeah. $20 gets you two sets with the additional extenders if you want to lean them more or less. And they work really well. They, they The table still shakes. I mean, the $20 versus what you could build or... There's another set that uses uh, the rods with the, the rubber. And I haven't tried those yet. Maybe next next time but for now if you need speaker stands for a desk to tilt them up this is it these are probably going to my brother because he's using them he's using these speakers i bought on the tx because merry christmas they're just flat on a desk and i can't stand it anymore so he'll get these for christmas <laughs>